Hello, this is Ocon, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at iPhone OS 2.0 running on the iPhone 3G. So recently, I picked up an iPhone 3G, and as you can see here, it is indeed an iPhone 3G, like it has the, uh, the matte writing on the back instead of the silver one found on the 3GS. And if I turn it around, you can see the classic, you can see it is indeed running iPhone OS 2.0. If we go into general and about. Now this was the first version of iOS or iPhone OS to include the App Store. So for the first time, users could download and install third-party applications natively onto their iPhones without the need of a jailbreak. In addition, it supported push email and Microsoft Exchange. So taking a look at the lock screen, you can see pretty much the classic iOS lock screen, double tap, to get the music control, slide to unlock, and you're in. Now this home screen is also pretty similar to version 1.0, besides for the, a little bit of a redesign on the calculator icon. So actually if we go into the SMS text, as it was called back then, to, to a signal that it only could send SMS messages, you, can, you could still send a text if it had a SIM card in it, and if I tried to send a message, interestingly, the sending bar would have gone across the keyboard instead of over the top of the screen like it does nowadays. In addition, camera obviously also still works with its amazing, I mean sarcastic, 2 megapixel camera. And interestingly, it doesn't show a preview of the photo you took, it just shows these squares and also has a little bit of a different UI there. And YouTube, it would work. That's just the same as the iOS 5 YouTube app, although it's such an outdated piece of software, it no longer works, as is the iTunes Store. And the App Store, it, is, it also should, I don't believe it also, I don't believe it works. Nope, but as you can see, this is what it would have looked like. It would have had features, categories, top 25 search and updates. And the settings app, actually if we go into that one more time, you can see the new option for fetch new data, which is actually in iOS 10 is buried all the way in the mail settings. And there is also very little settings on this firmware. And phone, of course, is pretty much the same. And Safari, it has a little bit of a different design, and, but if it will, oh, it didn't actually reload the page. So this iPhone has inc incredibly good RAM management considering it only has 128 megs of RAM. And also the Google search bar is hidden inside the URL search bar. And going on to the second page, you can see the only two apps I, were able, I was actually able to put on this iPhone. These are all web links. And I had to go through my purchase history and I tried to, many apps, although none of them worked except these. And if I go into public radio, this should work. I actually haven't tried this yet. If it loads. And nope, not even that works. So that's that. And also this iPhone is jailbroken. So that's pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it, and bye.